How's it going everyone? My name is Forge and welcome back to a brand new video. Now today we are in the 19W048 snapshot. Now yesterday we were supposed to get ourselves a snapshot but it didn't end up coming out which was actually quite upsetting. Uh, but pretty much within the snapshot we got ourselves various changes to the composter and even the stone cutter and plus the campfires. So we're going to be starting with the smaller feature first and then we're going to get on to the nice and juicy bit of the snapshot and that is the stone cutter. So if you guys enjoyed this video then please let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe for more videos by me in the future and let's get started. So first off let's begin with the small changes as I mentioned. So the composter. The composter was introduced in the last snapshot and so many people actually thought this block was very useless. I mean it's useful if you want to get yourself some bone meal. But in other news, it's just not a very interesting block whatsoever. But guess what? It now actually generates within the different farms that you'll find within the villages. So this farm, for example, is spawned right here. Now, if you're inside the plains, it will spawn within the corners of the standard farms and stuff like that. Uh, but another thing that they've done is made it to where the campfires will now naturally generate within the actual Taiga villages. So as you can see, we got ourselves... One campfire right over there. We got ourselves another campfire way over here. So these will actually generate in two different ways. Some of them will spawn like this. It's have a nice little, uh, well, a nice little case area. And of course, we get ourselves the A bell underneath there as well. And sometimes they'll just spawn without any type of A bell underneath them, which is actually quite cool. So I really like the fact that we actually got ourselves the campfires and actually generating because it means that we're going to be able to find these villages much much easier now because sometimes it's going to be really tricky to actually spot these villages when you're going throughout the different trees and stuff like that but this way we'll be able to spot where a village is because look at that village yep yep that's how it's going to work from now on uh, but besides that we're going to go ahead and move on to the nice and juicy pit of wait that's a pit i meant bit of the snapshot okay so here we go with the stone cutter so the craft of stone cutter is going to be crafted like this. Three stone on the bottom and one iron ingot. And once you get this, you're going to be able to craft up any stone related object that you want. Such as stairs, slabs, and so on and so forth. Now I do want to point out that this does not remove the crafting recipes that you actually know and love within the crafting table. You can still go ahead and craft stuff using this. Uh, this is just a way for you to make things just a little bit easier. So maybe like you're a new player and you don't know any of the crafting recipes. This will be a way for you to craft up just the stone related things pretty quickly and early on within the game. But we do have ourselves some chisel stone bricks. We get ourselves some stone brick slabs, walls, stairs, and so on and so forth. Now one thing I love about this is that you actually don't need to craft up any of your stone bricks. You actually don't need to craft up stone bricks to get yourself the stone brick related objects which is actually just really, really cool and interesting at the same time. But if I were to go ahead and take this and I were to go and put it right there, as you can see, we got ourselves our slabs, our stairs, and our walls yet again. So I recommend using just normal stone instead of just wasting your stone on crafting yourself these different stone bricks and stuff like that. But other things that you can use is like the granite, so you can use yourself that, or for thyrite and andesite. And then if I go and put that right there, we also got ourselves the um, the polished variants. And then if I were to go and place down some cobblestone right inside of here, we get ourselves our cobblestone related things such as the cobblestone slabs, the stairs, and the walls. And same thing can be said about the bricks. And same thing can be said about the nether bricks. But besides that, you can also go ahead and put purple in there. And you're going to be able to craft up your purple pillars, your slabs, and stairs which is pretty great. Now you can use all the other stone stuff as well. These are just examples of what you can go ahead and craft with the stone cutter itself. Now obviously you may think that you can go ahead and put in wood in there, but you actually can't. So if I go and grab this and I go and put some wood right here, it's going to be like, you can put wood in there, but you can't get an output. So you know what? That's pretty much it about what this snapshot has to offer us. So there are bug fixes obviously, and I will have a link down below as always to the article. So you can go ahead and look at all the changes that are within the change log. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, then please let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe for more videos by me in the future. And for now, I hope that you have a logical day and I will catch you all next time. Bye.